This is Russ Anderson with a tutorial on how to diagnose problems with exports to other applications. So here we have a just very simple solve of a example shot. And let's suppose we've exported it to a downstream application such as 3ds Max or Maya or After Effects. And we discover that the 3D tracker locations aren't lining up with the corresponding locations in the actual images. So in our application, we might see something you know, that, that looks like this, where we have just the, uh, the marks themselves. And if they're wrong, we'd like to find out why that is and what to do about it. So here I'm just going to be using SynthEyes to show some of the things that go wrong and uh, you know, what to look for. So first off, let's suppose that there's been a change in the aspect ratio. And here, we're going to take our 4 to 3 shot and turn it into a 16 to 9 shot, which is a kind of large change, obviously, but it'll show more what's going on. So we might see something like this now in our downstream application, where things aren't really lining up at all with the uh, corresponding features. And you have just, just things hanging around, and, and they're off in, in this strange way. But if you look carefully at what's going on, at individual trackers and where their features are, you'll see that there's a pattern. And what I'm going to do here to make that more obvious is just turn back on the actual 2D locations, which are still correct in Synthize, so you can see what that pattern is like. So here's the feature and the 3D position. On the other side, feature and 3D position, feature 3D position, in the middle, there's a very small error. So when you have this aspect ratio, there's a very systematic pattern in what these errors are like. And once you see that, you can recognize that it's an aspect ratio problem. Obviously, the aspect ratio has changed the other way. You'll see a horizontal shift. Uh, obviously, this is a really big change, but you can often see very small changes they're like 1.33 versus 1.333, or pixel aspect ratios of 0.88 versus 0.89 versus 0.9. They correspond to different combinations of 720 by 480 or 720 by 486 and things. And these can call just a little, little bit of errors that uh, make you scratch your head until you realize that's what's going on when you see a, a particular pattern like this. Now here we're back to our original solution again. Now I'm going to go and, and take the images and replace them with the same sequence but starting one frame in. And now you get this sort of pattern when, where things don't line up and you're not just and this is what you'd see things aren't really quite lining up. It looks like something, something's gone drastically wrong, things are bouncing around. Oh no, the solve didn't work at all. But that's, uh, that's not really what's happened. Now if you go and you take a look at one of these trackers, in some detail, let's suppose I put the mouse here on that position of that tracker. Well, if I just use the, uh, the left and right keys on the uh, keyboard, you'll see in the previous frame, that position of the tracker was exactly where the feature was. I can go and kind of chase the tail around and you can see you know it, it's the right location but just for the, the wrong frame. And of course if you if you have the frame shifted the other way then the pattern will be running the other way. So you know this is one way to go and look just put the cursor at the uh, location of some feature then just step a few frames in either direction and say, oh, is this, this lining up? And, you know, if you repeat this process a couple of times and you discover, oh, well, you know, each time I go one frame forward, everything magically lines up. Uh, that's a clue that, you know, you're off by a frame. Uh, similarly, uh, it, it's often worthwhile to take a look at the outer edges of the image and look for things that are just coming on and off the frame. If I look out here, here's a little spot. And you know, right at that point there 
it goes off the edge of the frame, the spot right here. So I can go and, and take this frame number and I repeat this process in both of the applications and see if it's happening on the same frame. And sometimes you might even find, you know, if, if you're, you know, inadvertently switched to a cropped version of the images or images that have been tweaked a little bit, you know, you can discover that, uh, you know, maybe things aren't quite what you think at all. So, you know, looking at the edges of uh, the images really carefully is a good way to verify, you know, that you've got really the same images in both applications in one way or another haven't uh, had the footage change out from underneath. So that, uh, I think, is uh, kind of the top sort of uh, reasons for exporters to get, get into trouble. Sometimes, it, you know, it might be a problem with an export where, you know, some piece of information can't always be transmitted exactly. You know, sometimes users will go and change things or shots will get changed out on the server without anyone happening to mention. You know, so that, so that sort of thing happens all the time. These are some things to look for. hope that uh, helps you... Uh, Solve any problems that do uh, occur. Thanks.